guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 40 of Healing Good Pretty Here. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I just heard my dog grunt. Lord, Cody. I was like, pick me up! Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, but still, something felt a little wrong about this, but I'm just saying. And you got rid of him. I'm busy. He wants you to pick him up. Pick him up. I'm busy recording. I don't know what to say about this. I mean, yeah, I got nothing. I have nothing. No. <laughs> What the heck? I get uh, dog, Cody. I know you're in here. Come here. Hey, you don't want to come over. Whatever. I'm just still wondering, like, if this is going to be the final battle, which to me it seems like it's not with the last six episodes we got left, what in the world are the last six episodes going to be? Them just chilling? Okay. It's <laughs> okay. I mean, but okay, here's the thing. Why would you want to do this? Were you getting sick and tired of King Bugen's ish? That doesn't make sense. Okay. Okay. I mean, technically, he just did. I, I uh, even though I was last week, even if we just saw the guy. Um, okay. Mhm. Mm you go do that. 
Mm. See, that's a Kobayashi attitude right there. Miss mm. Kobayashi's Dragon Maid season two, everybody. It's just, I don't, okay, even though this is almost something what, you know, what it, a one it, this seems far too easy. Plus not right, but I mean, whatever floats your boat. Excuse me. Like that's gonna work. Cody, come here. No, no. This dog. Okay, come here. Right on my, come here. No, do not bark at me, Cody. Come here. attention. Okay. You want to go on the bed? There you go. There you go. Oh, don't worry, Umi. You'll be joining them in shortly. Now, if this is straight up, okay, I, I was about to say. Oh, it's gonna, oh, okay, no, I thought it was gonna hit. Oh, but it didn't. Mm-hmm. 
Hannah, it's not your fault. Don't start thinking that. Even though technically she already is. But like, oh my god. Oh. This child. I don't know. Not okay. You can't. Well, God, how much did you do? I mean, there. I don't know why, but I feel like the way we're going with this episode, we might get a three parter with this. Because right now they're all four. Well, Umi's not too weak. It's just the other three are. And Umi can't really handle every little thing by herself because eventually she's going to get weak and tired. It's like basically a dead zone. Mm -hmm. There's some despair inducing ish. You know. I mean, at least you're you talking about that, but Hina, you can fix this. You all can fix this. I don't know how the heck you're gonna get home though, but no, no, don't see. Oh. oh. I like seeing her cry. It was so sad. Uh -huh. Funny. <laughs> exactly. You have good leadership, but, you know, it's okay to make mistakes every now and then, but still, it's not your fault. Aww. 
No, stop it. <laughs> Latte, my child. Shit. I, honestly, I don't know. I don't think it'll be that easy, but who knows? You're right. Kind of, not really, but... That could be anywhere. It's about to be a freaking needle in a haystack and I hate that! Did they just bring Ruby's VA back? Cause that just sounded like Ruby. Love live Ruby. Oh my god. Oh. oh. See that that's a little too easy now. I mean, you know, Dado could have came in any time when they was talking and be like, mm, let me go ahead and stop y'all right there. But no, 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 no. He, you know, he sits somewhere just to watch it, waiting for his time to, you know, creep the F up and then do something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. God. Satan, mm, of course. <laughs> oh, destroy the pillar? Oh, of course, yes. How you gonna get home now? Mm-hmm. 
damn, homie, homie, like, yep, let's go. It's so my god. Okay, go, 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 I'm like, go, 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 go. Oh my god. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh my god. Nanoka, I. Go, 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 hurry! <sighs> oh, cause could you imagine if we had, like, mmm, God. Yeah, the more and more, like, th we're now going into part three. This feels like the last few episodes. Like we're, this could be the last episode, maybe, and then, like, whatever else is left for 42 to episode 46 could be, you know, episodes that they, you know, originally cut it, but then, I, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, because going into last week's episode, now this week's episode, and officially next week's episode, a three-parter, somewhat of a finale, I mean, it would make the most sense, but then, like I said, what are you going to do with the last remaining few episodes? Just have them chill out for a couple of weeks and do whatever, or show episodes that originally got cut, but they're just going to show them as, like, extras or like the lost episodes almost like how um oh my god Sailor Moon yeah Sailor Moon in like the 90s when it stopped showing on TV and eventually Toonami got the rights for it at really Cartoon Network but Toonami sold at the same time um and they aired them and promoted them as like lost episodes number some number four seen episodes like that I don't know what Toe Animation could do but of course this show's already technically done because they have everything done and you know we're getting ready for Tropical Ruse but I mean Hina you feel so bad for her I mean yes it is her fault we all know it's her fault but you know what she's her leadership I mean it was good even the mascots, like, took some control in these last two episodes. What the fuck? So, okay, hold on. Wait, wait. Time out. Time out. Let, throw a flag in the field on the play. Mm, okay, so you are now telling me that what What's-His-Face did last week with, you know, technically getting rid of King Bjorgen, um, of course he's gonna return. Because that makes the most sense. Uh, I mean, with the, like I said, with the way this is going, 
makes the most sense. So, like, yeah, go ahead and go against the side villains first. Then the main... No, go against the main villain first. Get him out of here. Then go against kind of the true villain. Maybe not really. And then you find out the true villain ain't really the true villain. And then, you know, King Vivian comes down that highway. It's like, hey, here I am. Like, I thought you got rid of me, but mm, I'm still here. Um... <laughs> And in the end, he's still the true big bad, our final boss for the end of this show. I don't know. I mean, honestly, I think from the preview, it's going to be good. I mean, I think this is going to be a situation going into part three where this is, it, it's really going to, mm, this kind of made a brokina this week's episode but i think next week is really going to test her a little bit more to see yeah i mean because yeah she messed up she really messed up with these last two episodes but this next episode is really about her redeeming herself and such and her qualities and a little bit of the leadership that she has because i mean all four of them are good at leadership i will still kind of say um because it's kind of been on my mind i think ever since the show returned and I hate to say this, but it, it is a little true. Yes, Hina is by far the weakest of the group, and that's okay. I'm not saying it as it's a bad thing and stuff, because yes, everybody has things that they're good at, essentially maybe better than others, and there are some things that people are bad at. Hina, you know, like I said, she's not bad at leadership she needs a little more of a, di a direction but with the fact is that we only have a certain amount of episodes left and we're getting very very close to the end of this show uh, and we're seeing it i think she has a little bit of moments where she yeah she can be redeemable i think really next week honestly and then the last few episodes going into the final episode of the show may you know kind of change the way that i thought about her in the beginning going from episode one to the before the show went on hiatus then returning back and such and i kind of wish during that hiatus i rewatched the episodes and stuff but i didn't of course um but yeah i mean i still love her she's still a sweet character she's probably like she's still my third mm, yeah no is she She in there. She's still best girl. I mean, if we want to talk about, like, who all is the best girls of these freaking show and this, we would be here for a long time, and I don't really want to do that. But she, I, I still love her. She's still sweet. She's adorable. Yeah, she has little things where I'm like, mm, I don't know how to feel about that, but it's okay. There's going to be things that, like, not every cure I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like or I'm not going to like. But still, she has qualities. And, you know, I hope by next week she's able to redeem herself a lot. And that, you know, she's able to you know, be happy with this outcome of whatever the freak is going to happen next week. But, you know, we ain't going to know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 40 of healing good pretty cure if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys <coughs> next saturday sunday for episode 41 bye guys